What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here, RTSMobile.com, bringing you a quick video. It is Friday. Happy Friday. We're playing some Warhammer Chaos and Conquest. Today's video is uh, regarding the renowned troops that you can now purchase with packs. Um, the game has been launching one troop a week for the past couple weeks here. Uh, last week was the Sorcerers of Tzinch. This week is the Hell Striders of Slanesh. Uh, so what I want to do is just go through uh, the different renowned troop stats so you can have an idea which ones you actually might want to buy. I personally am not going to drop $100 for tier 3 troops. I have tier 4 troops unlocked um, with my Flesh Hounds of corn, so I do not need to uh, uh, drop money on tier 3 at this time. But I'm going to go through them because I'm sure there's a lot of people who are stuck in the tier 3 phase still. And of course for a new kingdom or new region, these uh, packs are going to be uh, uh, insanely powerful. So let's start with this week's Hellstriders of Slanish. Okay, they are a cavalry unit. They are tier 3. Their melee attack is 30. Their melee damage is 600. Compared to the Blood Crushers of Corn, which is the Corn uh, tier 3 troop that's trainable, not renowned, they have 37 and 550. So 37 attack and 550 damage. This 30 melee attack and 600 damage, I'd say it's uh, probably pretty close in DPS. Uh, might be slightly less DPS, but very close in DPS. They have a range attack stat, which is useless, so I would disregard that. And then their morale is 56, so they'll be able to absorb uh, uh, damage. Uh, I think 56 is kind of the standard. Um, and then their armor is 25, and their health is 2,000, and their speed is 10. The speed is extremely high. They are the fastest tier 3 unit for sure. Uh, and then the highest health pool for a tier 3 unit as well. Uh, so these guys are decent for tanking. They're probably definitely a little bit better for tanking than the uh, the Blood Crushers of Corn, which are, again, the trainable Corn Cavalry. So if you want to tank your unit that does a tiny bit less damage and is a tiny bit more tanky than the Blood Crushers, um, these Hell Striders are actually extremely good units. Okay? Next! Yay! Here we go, baby! All right. The Bio Trolls of Chaos! These Nurgle monsters, these monstrous infantry from Nurgle, not monsters, they're monstrous infantry, I apologize. These Nurgle fellows, okay, they have 15 melee attacks, 600 damage. At first glance, you might say, wow, that's not bad. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 15 melee attack is atrocious. Then we get to the range attack. This is even worse. Seven range attack, 500 damage. How much more useless could you get? These guys literally do no damage. They will do no DPS. No DPS coming out of them, okay? Their morale is 44. Why? Why? They do no damage, and they have no morale stats, so they're really going to be hard to get in the front line to tank. You're going to have to have a big boost in morale just to get them to the tanking line to get up to other units that have 56 uh, morale base stat. So your standard morale is like 56, right? I'd say 75% uh, of your units have 56 morale as their base stat. Pretty standard. These guys are well under that, okay? Uh, so, yeah, they're like 20% less morale. You need to have a 20% buff just to compete and be a tank. Their armor is good. Their health is good. So, if you can get their morale up, the Bile Trolls of Chaos could be good. They do no damage, so uh, don't use them for anything besides a tank. If you can get the morale up, great. I don't believe the, uh, the Warlord gives morale. So the Great Unclean One does not give Nurgle morale, so there's no point in getting this health and armor bonus uh, because, again, they don't have a morale boost. So, unfortunately, that's uh, that's where that's at. Okay, the next one. Oh, yeah, sorry. Recommendation. Do not buy Bile Trolls of Chaos. Yes, buy Hellstriders of Slanish if you are interested in using them. They're on par, slightly tankier, slightly less damage than the Blood Crushers of Corn. Next. Tzinch Sorcerer. This was last week's pack. Okay. Um, I don't have any of these. They're terrible, and I'm going to tell you why. They are an infantry type, which is great. I, I do like infantry. Um, but their melee attack is 37. Their damage is 400. Their range attack is 22, and their range damage is 575. Let's compare them to the other infantry, monstrous infantry type unit at tier 3. Okay, 1,000 damage versus 800 damage. Hmm. Yep, 1,000 damage versus 800 damage. 400 damage versus 575 damage. 
why would I ever use these? Okay, great. So they're a, a, a base range unit because the range damage is so much higher. Um, their morale is extremely high at 64. So if you can somehow turn these guys into melee units, they will be slightly better tanks with 50 armor and 1200 health than your Chaos Warriors with 44 armor and 1000 health. So the only use, and I'm, I'm repeating this, okay, the only use for these Tazid Sorcerers, since they have a high morale stat, is if you can somehow flip their damage stats <clears throat> by boosting ranged, uh, I mean by boosting melee damage, um, and get them in the front line, since they have a little bit better health and armor than the Chaos Warriors. If you can't get these guys in the front line, they are literally useless. Do not buy the Sorcerers, okay? And the last renowned troop is the Forsaken of Corn. These are the best renowned troop by a mile. Um, they are also an infantry type unit. These are strictly melee. Um, they are glass cannons. And they are one of the highest damage tier 3 troops in the game. Because um, their melee attack stat is so high. So they have 60 melee attack, 700 melee damage. Again, they'll stu still do slightly less damage. DPS, that's like, you know, damage per hit or whatever when you get the melee attack and the damage attack, uh, stats combined. But the uh, Chaos Warriors will be slightly more damage, slightly more tankiness. So again, if you can unlock the Chaos Warriors at keep 20, go for it. If you're still a ways off from Chaos Warriors, these Forsaken of Corn are insanely good. They are worth buying if you're trying to buy some Forsaken, uh, uh, some, uh, some renowned troops. So, that's it. Okay. Buy Forsaken. Don't buy Sorcerers. Maybe buy Hellstriders. And then, of course, stay the hell away from Bio Tools of Chaos. Okay? That's it. All right. Love you guys a long time. Happy Friday. Enjoy the Friday shirt. Enjoy your Fridays. Enjoy your weekend. And uh, Randy out, baby. Peace.